Good afternoon, good afternoon guys. Greetings from Daegu, South Korea. Got an exciting episode today because we're gonna be feasting on Korean street food at Seomon Market. Before we do that, we have to take a cable car back down into the city. We were just visiting Daegu Tower. It was fantastic, we got some amazing views. But now we're gonna be taking the cable car down back into town and then it's all gonna be about street food, some tasty Korean street food here in Daegu. So before we get to the cable car, there's a little theme park out here called E-World and there are some very interesting displays. There's a double-decker bus, there's some vintage cars, there's a lady with a giant dress, and there's a heart as well. <laughs> Hey, the coolest surprise, and what's that? It's free. Wait, it's free? It's free. Pretty incredible. I, I can't remember the last time I got something free this cool. Actually, I do. We got the free sports jerseys in Busan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the jersey. David's doing a time lapse with his phone. Oh, my God. Awesome. Such a lush green area. And the part that we're going over right now is, is basically the theme park. I think yeah. that's the E-World, right? It's like an amusement park. It's yeah. an amusement park. Now we're, I've got some views in front of me. I'm going to flip the camera over. Check that out, guys. That is pretty amazing. We're going over some trees. And as we get over, we should probably have some even better views of the city. Man, that was an awesome free attraction here in Daegu. I had no idea that the cable car was free. David had the first hunch of it. How did you realize it was free? Dude, did I you just guess? saw people getting on and getting off and no one was there. <laughs> Hardly anyone's going up to that tower. I mean, it is a Tuesday, but still. Yeah. Daegu is prime for exploring, man. There's hardly yeah. anyone here, hardly any tourists. Come to Daegu and check it out. I mean, if you like amusement parks, there's one right yeah. there. Hey, now we got street food on our mind. We're gonna go grab some. And now we're heading to Solmon Market, which is a very traditional market that dates back to the Chosun period. Probably the oldest market in Daegu. Yeah. Aside from street food, there's like textiles yeah. and, and what else is there? They have over four thousand shops four thousand whoa if we wanted to go to each one yeah we have to spend like one second in each. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll just be scratching the surface obviously keying in on street food yeah and yeah now we've kind of ventured off into a bit of a back alley and mm -hmm. uh, we're on the way there i think i might buy something Four thousand shops. I'm sure I'll find something I like. You'll find some, find some souvenirs for your kids and families. And, I hope yeah. so. <laughs> I really want to buy like a Pitoro, the the character, the Korean character. He's like oh, a little okay. bird. Okay. He goes pew pew pew. We just arrived in Seoul Moon Market, and it is massive. Right now, we're kind of in the the pottery section. There's mm -hmm. lots of stone pots. There's cooking ware, and these are used by Koreans to basically store different kinds of paste: the red pepper paste, the gochujang, the soybean paste, the doenjang. So I mean, here we have a few different sizes. This one's yeah. six thousand, four thousand, five thousand. So wow. everything here is like under five bucks. That's crazy, and they're heavy duty. Seven's heavy. <laughs> wow, this is great. Look wow. at that. I saw somebody walking with food, so I'm oh, guessing man. food over there. Somewhere. Food is somewhere down there, and that's where we're gonna head. So over here guys, we ha have various kinds of roasted nuts, almonds, pumpkin seeds, pretty impressive. So we just walked by a stall that was selling dry nuts and they were spinning around and around. I've never seen anything quite like it. And just behind it, there was a whole section where they were selling dried kinds of fish, various kinds of dried fish. So some very fascinating things at the market so far. John, uh, mashisayo? Mashisayo. Yeah. Page is on Hana Juseyo? Yeah. Huju John. Hana Juseyo. It's John. What is this? Chizong. Ooh. Dude, that's amazing, huh? Look at that. Look at all the veg in there. We 
are trying two different kinds of Korean pancakes, which I've never had before. We have Jeyujeon and Pujujeon. Both are 2,500 won. won. And we have some people watching us, which is kind of funny. And so I'm gonna grab a piece. This is the light one. I'm honestly not sure what they are. I'm guessing this one might be cabbage or potato jun. Okay, let's try that. That's cabbage. Oh yeah. Mmm, you know what? That's one of the juiciest kinds of jun you can have because the cabbage retains its juices, its flavors. And obviously when you uh, fry it up with the batter like this, it tastes so good. So tasty. I'm gonna go in for another one. Uh, this is like a, a soy sauce with uh, onions. I believe it's called tangjang. What's blowing me away about this is just the size of the jun for the price. So basically, you're talking like just over two US dollars and you get a huge pancake with vegetables. So what's really interesting, guys, is the two most typical kinds of jun I've had are kimchi jun and hamu pa jun. But these are juns I don't think I've ever tried before. And I think we're moving on to either a green onion or a leek one. Let's try it. Mm. Oh yeah, that's really good. Mm. This one tastes really healthy. Between the two, I like the cabbage one a little bit more. And for this price point, guys, this is a lot of food. Like, you could come here and order a pancake. That could be like a, a meal in and of itself. And yeah, we have our work cut out for us to try to finish both of them. That food is unreal. I mean, I haven't had those pancakes yet. I've had like one pancake so far in Korea, yeah. but that was so good. The leek with the chili just gave me like a delicious flavor with spice yeah. and the cabbage, very moist and you know crunchy. And I want to try at least four or five more things. And yeah. the cool thing is that most things we're going to try here are unique to here. And what do we got behind you? We just bought something. We have dried seaweed. <laughs> The more I walk through this market, the more impressed I am. I feel like this is kind of like an old world kind of Korean market. It's just such a classic traditional experience here. There's just locals shopping here. They're buying all kinds of different things. And I mean, I can't believe like this. Like, look at this, the seaweed. Unreal, man, unreal. 안녕하세요. Uh, We are moving on to sweets. This is one of my favorite Korean desserts. You associate this with transportation either by taking the bus or the train. These are called Hodu Kwaja. And basically what they are, they're walnut cookies, but they more so have a waffle batter. So before I eat one, I'm just gonna break it apart. So look at that, you have a giant walnut in there. You have red bean paste, and then you have like a kind of a waffle batter on the outside. They're so delicious. Whenever I think of like taking a bus or a train in Korea, I'm like, where's my Hodu Kwaja? Right size snacks. Mmm, I love that red bean paste, crunch of the walnut. And there's not too much batter either, which is good. So this is a contrast between those three different things. You have kind of the, you have the outer layer of the pancake batter, the smoothness of the red bean paste, and the crunch of the walnut. It makes for a fantastic snack. And as I mentioned, you get 10 of these for 3,001. Really good value. Guys, if you're traveling in Korea, pick up your Hodu Kwaja. So we've explored the one side of the street fairly well. There is a bit more street food options, but we're gonna cross. There's so much more street food on the other side. And yeah, the Korean street food adventures continue. We are starting off. I'm gonna get three of these things. This is amazing. These are basically various skewered objects. What I have right here is a skewered dok, a skewered Korean rice cake with a gochujang sauce. Let's try that, guys. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Giant rice cake. I'd say two to three times bigger than the kind of rice cakes you get in dokbogi. Hence, it only being one. Only obek won, 500 won, 40 something US cents. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's the real deal. I love the texture. It's very chewy, but also very smooth. There's a really nice spicy chili paste, like that red pepper paste. And that's just one of three guys. I'm going for more. The next two items are gonna be 1,000 won each. I'm gonna go place the order right now. Holding a hana to sale. 
So we're at the 1001 menu items. These are the bigger items. This is a giant fish cake. Again, coated in the gochujang sauce. It's gonna be super spicy. Because it's a fish cake, it should be absorbing the spices even more so than the rice. Let's try that. Mmm. Oh man. I like that more. That's even better than the rice cake. It's got such a spongy texture and a fishy taste. Oh, and it just soaks the gochujang. Mmm. Matcha soil. So delicious. It's really spicy. Mei wow. Wow. I love this, guys. Mmm. Sunday hangi juice. Next up, we have the sundae. Another 1001 item. And what's different is that instead of transferring it from one big skewer to a smaller skewer, what she's done is she's taken it off of the skewer and put it into a cup. My mouth is on fire, man. The second ode. Woo! That is some spicy gochujang sauce, guys. Serious fire at the moment. And the sundae is a Korean blood pork sausage. So what you've got here, you've got intestines, a little bit of rice, I think a little bit of noodles in there too. And this is a, this is a really delicious sausage, but for some foreigners, this is, a, this is something that's a bit too exotic. For me, I love it. Mmm, mmm. Oh wow, super spongy texture. Rich, rich flavors. Chewiness of the organs. <laughs> <laughs> to come to Korea and you want to get away from the typical street foods, try the sundae, guys. Delicious. Out of the three things, my favorite was the odeng. It just had the nicest flavor. It absorbed the gochujang sauce the most, but it was also the spiciest. To fight all that fire we've been consuming with the gochujang sauce, we've got ourselves my favorite Korean traditional drink. Sweet, it's refreshing. It has a rice base. It is called shike. When you've been eating spicy food, it's an absolute must. You gotta do it. This was Chonwon, 1001, about 85.90 US cents. Great deal. And you can't get a drink more refreshing than this. Mm. Oh, served ice cold too. And look guys, the coolest thing is that you've got rice in the bottom. It's a bit clumpy at the bottom though. <laughs> mm. It's gonna be hard uh, to go down the hatchet. Yeah, I'm gonna try. Oh. <laughs> That's awesome, man. We are finishing off the street food tour, but not the end of the market tour, but the end of the street food with Hotok, my favorite Korean dessert. It is amazing. It is like Korean donut, sweet Korean donut that's been deep fried. Inside you have a mixture of like sugary goodness, often it's syrupy and they usually add some nuts for a little bit of crunch and texture as well. Now, I was warned this is super hot, so I'm gonna be very careful, because it's like, when you bite into it and it's too hot, it's like, it burns your mouth. The liquid sugar just burns your gums like crazy. So I'm gonna be really careful here. Mmm. Oh yeah, nice and crispy. I haven't quite got to the syrup yet, so I'm tasting right now the outer batter. Oh god, look at this. This is why you got a syrup and the pine nuts. Amazing. Super syrupy goodness. Super sweet. I'm at the syrup layer now. One delicious bite after another. Mm. Hands down, my favorite Korean street food dessert. Hotok. You can almost find Hotok everywhere Korean street food is being sold. The process is pretty amazing. As you can see, the lady right here is grabbing all the dough. It's like, whoa, look at that. Insane. Whoa. So she's grabbing the dough. After the dough, she like rolls it into this ball with a pocket. And in the pocket, she throws in seeds and sugar, throws it onto the fryer. And you have this guy with like this, uh, this presser, right? He presses yeah. it down. So he sees that it's golden brown, then flips it over, does it over and over again. The lady at the end, she's finishing it off at the, at the very end. Then they take it out, let it sit there for a bit, let the grease fall, and then he puts it into a cup and you eat it. So you gotta be really careful because if you get one of those that hasn't been sitting there too long, you're gonna burn your mouth. I burn my mouth a little bit. It's super delicious, super sweet, delicious donut. through the market for a long time and it's about time that I grab something. I got this for Audrey. This is a red ginseng ultra hydrating essence mask. Samtone one, 3001, about $2.50. <laughs> Instructions on the back. Hopefully she likes it, I have no idea, but guys, red ginseng hydrating mask. 
in South Korea. Dude, we found an amazing place. Tables, bowls. I think we're gonna buy some of it maybe. Wow, this is awesome. What do you like so the most? Dude, I mean, I like the tables and they're cheap. Like this is like 15 bucks, dude. Wow. Oh my gosh, look at that, man. It folds out. How much? Oh my oh. Man, pal chum one. That's uh, 18,000. What do you think? It's a collapsible table. 18,000 won. Is it in my bag? Like, where I put it is? You can, do you have room in your bag? No. No, no way, this doesn't fit. But think about it, like if you... In my luggage, yeah, I'm not, not... No, your luggage, yeah. Not like carry today. This should wrap it up for you. I'm coming though. Guys, these stone pots were just too tempting. I had to get them. Because remind me of all the dulce at bibimbap I've had. Super high quality, they're very heavy. I've already got them both wrapped up. They were 7,000 won each, chilts on one. Six something US dollars, and we will put them to good use back in Canada for sure. I'm gonna eat noodles out of there. I'm gonna try cooking rice on it. It's gonna be awesome. Guys, our experience here at Seoul Moon Market in Daegu was just honestly unbelievable. I've been to a lot of Korean markets, and this is my new favorite market in South Korea. What I love about it is there's two things. There's firstly, just the sheer size of it. Over 4,000 stalls. It sprawls out in all directions. It's not just one street, one alleyway. You have to go through a number of different circuits to even cover it. We barely scratched the surface. The other thing I love about it is that it's a super local market. A very unique experience overall. I was super happy with my purchase of the stone pots, which I'm gonna take home and utilize back in Canada. And yeah, this was just a fantastic outing. This market far exceeded my expectations. I absolutely loved it. Come here for street food, to people watch, and to buy stuff and guys if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up leave a comment below subscribe to both of our channels and we will have more content here from daegu south korea in the next episode peace